And then um, next weekend we're doing Tokyo, and we're currently in the process of trying to book a five-day tour of Mongolia. I hope which, you're not. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. No, I was gonna say like when we told Dana that like the next e video she sent us, she like yelled at us. She said, "Why well, go to Mongolia?" And like started racking off places we could go instead. You could watch the video. Yeah, it's pretty funny, and then watch our response to it because we're real indignant. <laughs> but we're doing it. Yeah. Because why the fuck not? Yeah, that's true. We're here, we like to travel, I want to see stuff. A saw. A saw, yeah. What's going on? I don't know, where is it? He must be stuck. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck, just pull out your chair a little bit. Just pull your chair out, then he won't get stuck anywhere. No. Just pull your chair out. Don't tell me what to do. Just pull your chair out. No, he's fine. You were so stubborn. Sometimes it's funny because like the ball will get stuck somewhere and then all of a sudden you'll just feel like a lot of scratching and I don't know what the hell it is. Make the trade. Get out. <laughs> ah, okay, that gets us on it. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Hamster rotation. It's your it's time like with the ball. It's like an exercise and they both have to get like loving time with the hands. I think it's more for Andy than Hamster, but... Whatever, I'm okay with that. There you go, buddy. So just so Dave can see it, let's, let's, we're going to put you over here and watch him roll out of frame. And there he goes. <laughs> oh, no, he's still in frame. Oh, there he is. And he's out. You can show him your butt. Yes, I could send you a butt video. Except for something I like to call class. I know we brought it all with us to this side of the planet. I hope you still have some left. Eat a lot of your mom's cookies, by the way. Chris. Yeah, what the hell, man? Why did she just start baking 200 cookies and like nuts and bread and like what the hell is that she make? Dana said she spent like all Sunday baking. I don't understand who's gonna eat it. Cause like, like you're you're there a little bit, but you're not there that often that you're gonna be like you know house and cookies every day. Dad can only eat so many before he has a heart attack. <laughs> Mom doesn't eat food, and Dana's always on a diet. So I mean. Yeah, Dana's always on a diet. So I mean, like, unless Billy and Dad are gonna like split a hundred cookies each, I don't know what's going on there. They don't have to split. They could get their own hundred cookies. No, they're gonna split each one in half. That's how it works, stupid. I hate you. You're so stupid. Should we put the uh, fruit cocktail in the fridge or see what? I'm gonna leave it up there. <laughs> um, it's a can. Wait, ask da Dave. Is it a can? What do you do with canned food that's not open? Do you like your fruit cocktail room temperature or chilled? Just <laughs> uh, what else? What else can we say that's going on here? Um, Megatron is having a ball. I mean, not to his friend. This is not to his friend. Uh, I don't know if Annie told you, but uh, one of the things that gives us a kick pretty much every day is whenever the kids speak. Because, um, you know, they're, they're you great in English. No, no, the, the kids. Yeah. They're great in English, uh, much better than I am in pretty much any foreign language. Like, maybe Spanish, I can even run for their money, but even no. that, they're way better than, uh, than us. Because they've been studying it like 12 hours a day for the past five years, and they're only like 10. And they're not allowed to sleep. Yeah. So, um, but they don't know everything. So, like, when I came in and my head was shaved and I grew this, all of my kids went up to any teacher. Because we have a lot of the same kids. I'm sure you saw Dana's video where we talk about the kids, like, think it's funny that we're getting married. But they come up to me and they're like, teacher, no, no. Like, they don't know how to say they don't like my goatee and they don't like what I did to my hair, so they're like, no, no, like, because they, they can't express themselves, but it's just real funny. I didn't tell Dana this either. Like, I straightened my hair, and I'll do it, like, every once in a while, and when I go into the kids, they they're every, they always say, teacher, every day, hair changey. But, like, when changey. it's straight, if it's straight and down, they go, much better. Much better, teacher. It's really... It's funny, also, the more you teach them, you see what are, like, the, the catchphrases that they've been taught. Yeah. Like, whenever you talk about food, <laughs> if they like it in any way, shape, or form, the food is so delicious. So delicious. I'm that's like, oh, well, how is that? Oh, it's so delicious, teacher. Um, that's the only way they can describe food that's good. That's the only description they have for food, if they like, like it at all. At all. Like, like, how's that peanut? Oh, it's so delicious. Ow! Oh! <laughs> so, and they don't know how to say something's okay. They'll be like, I'm so-so, good, bad, or terrible. So-so. Like, they do this a lot. So-so. So-so. The terrible, terrible teacher. That's what they say a lot. Um, for some reason, the word same, you have to double it. Same, same. You gotta double it. You gotta double it. I don't know why. Same, same. 
We have to figure out what the word for same is in Korean. And then just say it once to teach them, like, this is how you do it in English. No, I mean, like, maybe it's doubled. But then teach them, like, only say it the one time. Um, what else, like, crazy things the kids say? What about the fat thing the kids said, do you say? Oh, the kids today were talking about their feelings, because that was the lesson, and, uh, which Rob would have hated. And uh, the sentence they came up with was, Any teacher is happy because she's not fat. She's no fat. She no fat. She no fat. <laughs> Which is nice. You know, that's pretty good. Yeah. Also, what did they say about your head the first day of class? Oh, God. The first day of class, I remember my hair up. Like, the first day we were here. And they were like, why is your head so small? Teacher, why head so small? They'll come up to me sometimes, and like I'll like roll my <laughs> sleeve up a little bit, and they'll start doing this with their finger, and go, oh, teacher, your fur. And then I just start yelling at them, I'm like, it's hair! The kids are brutal. Like, I hear they used to go up to Mercedes and be like, you're so fat. Like, they are brutal. Which is true. They will pick out anything. Because the, A, they're kids, and B, like, they don't understand, like, subtleties in language. So, like, fur. Like, apparently I'm covered in fur. Like, however that works. That's because Korean people have no body hair at all. 